The Lady A5 robot is by far the most unique and nimble robot within the industry. The Lady A5 robot being a single box stall is very repeatable, uh, being from a, a one robot dairy, you know, a family farm that has 60 cows on one robot and expanded to 2,200 cows being milked by 36 robots on our largest dairy here in North America. You, the dairyman, tell us what is, is the driver behind coming into this technology. With the Lely A5 robot, we had the flexibility, being able to be adapted into a new facility design or also into a retrofit design. We know we capture on the labor efficiency. We know we capture on the output per cow. Those married together is extremely powerful. And the uniqueness, this flexibility that we can provide with the Lely A5 is gonna, in turn, give you the results that ultimately we all desire. When we talk about the two options being a retrofit and also a green field or a new facility, there's clearly advantages for both. The green facility or new facility would be that uh, you have a, a blank canvas and you're thinking about the cow the whole time and putting her into a newer environment allows that cow comfort to shine and therefore the production to, to shine. Within a retrofit, you know, we know that there is many freestall barns within the country that are going to far outlive the milking parlors that those cows are traveling to to get milked. The Lely robot being unique and nimble allows retrofit to still be a top discussion for many producers. And we encourage that because the capital investment is, is smaller to get into a retrofit versus a new facility. Half of our robots in North America are in retrofit facilities. Half of them are in brand new facilities. Every dairyman is unique. And through the consultative process, that is where it is defined to us which way they would like to go as they adapt the technology. The three pieces of advice that I would give to any producer of any size to get into the, the robotic technology would be one, network and consult with active users that are using the technology to learn about the successes, also the opportunities that are available. The second one would be to uh, set clear expectations and goals as to why you want to get into the technology and then match those goals and expectations around your design. And the third one is probably the most important is to be patient. As we know, and it's proven over time and time again through all the installs we do, we know that the cows adapt way sooner than anything else. And it's just important to be very patient through the process to allow this technology to succeed for you.